Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we are finally reacting to the official trailer of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the brand new Disney Plus series coming up. This was posted by Marvel Entertainment, who has 15 million subscribers, so nobody's surprised. Uh, 8 million views in two days. You guys probably won't see this for a little bit, it depends on the schedule, but this, uh, 8 million in two days. Obviously they've hit way bigger numbers than that in less than a few hours, but still, it's nice to see this for a TV series. Runtime's two minutes if you want to watch it uninterrupted. A link in the description box down below, as well as links to Patreon, Twitch, all the good stuff. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. So, a lot of people have been messaging me, popping in the Twitch streams, popping in on Discord, everywhere else. And it's like, hey, have you watched this? And I'm like, no, bro, I haven't yet. Just give me a second. I've been putting it off because I really, I didn't want to watch it. Yeah, I kind of want to go in, you know, blank. But at the same time, the curiosity really gets me. So, WandaVision is supposed to bleed right into Falcon and Winter Soldier, and I'm very curious about what this is even going to be about. Obviously, you have the whole ordeal with Cap giving up the shield at the end of Endgame, gives it to Sam, because, well, Sam's, you're a good person, Sam. Just, this is, you're a good man. This is for you. A lot of people were like, hey, it should go to Bucky first, and then Sam, because they want everything to follow things similar with comics and other stories. But uh, I'm kind of glad Sam is the one getting it. And I'm pretty sure we'll see them pass the shield back and forth to one another. Or maybe even fight over who's worthy. Other than that, uh, I really I really don't know what this is even about. We'll talk more after the end of this. So I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen. Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. Let's get into it. Bro, I love that opening. Every time they do it, it's so good. Plus, their relationship and dynamic is just... Why does Sam aggravate you? 15 seconds to drop! Their relationship's so good, dude. Look at Sam's suit! The Falcon! Great. I wonder if he's still rocking the, the Wakanda arm. Rest in peace. Superheroes. Can Japan? To I don't know, actually. I have no intention to leave my work. I'm Yo, Zemo! I've yet to see him with the mask, bro. I want to see it. Walls upside down right now. Why did that just click for me immediately? Immediately that just clicked. I hope you guys caught this. I'm going to go ahead... We're not going to cry. We're not going to cry. Throughout the entirety of the MCU, there's been a there's been a constant on your left, right? With them running, waking up in the hospital, one of them has always been saying on your left and obviously uh the big one the big one was in game when all hope was lost, the comm system comes on on your left. Falcon comes through and it's just a a beautiful touch in this right here. Of Sam looking at the shield and the picture of Cap in the background on his left. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but god damn, does it feel good? All right, sorry. Where do we start? Oh, oh. Here we go again. Hey, that's a uh, technically. What was her what, did, what was her alias she went by? Either way, I cap clapped them cheeks. That's all I know. I'm glad she's back though, bro. We ain't seen her since probably that movie. I love it, man. That does look like the Wakanda arm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. See? That wasn't so hard. Are you ready? Oh. Is you ready? ready? Okay. You say you ready. What are you doing? Whole squad ready. Ready. Are you having a staring contest? Oh. Are you ready? Ready. ready? Is you ready? Just blank. Sweet Jesus. I mean, how old are you? <laughs> so it's not like... 
it's not like one of those like mind bending trailers that we get with a lot of the Marvel stuff. It's just like, hey, here's the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Zemo basically picking up the pieces. Baron Zemo was in Civil War, and he's the one that pit basically the Avengers into different sides. Uh, well, not really. That was the Sokovian Accords, but he helped with that, and he definitely helped in the process of revealing the truth to Tony about the death of his parents being at the hand of Bucky Barnes way back in the day. So Zemo was going to take his own life, and Black Panther stopped him from that. It's it's really even more heartbreaking that Chadwick passed away because I would love to see his interactions, him like appearing in this for a little bit because them in the car ride, that brief moment was, was really special. And Bucky and Sam just have like this brother relationship. Like they... They have this weird disdain for each other. It was almost like uh, a pissing contest to see who was Cap's best friend. Because his whole life, Cap's best friend was Bucky. And then he meets Sam, and him and Sam immediately have this beautiful relationship. And obviously Bucky comes back. But obviously they're not just known for being Captain America's best friend. They're two badasses. Winter Soldier's dope. Uh, and Falcon's both dope. They were both two people that got snapped away. So I wonder if they'll talk about that at any at any point. Because they obviously Bucky was the first to go, and then we had War Machine, we had Rhodey looking for Sam, as as Sam disappeared. Their dynamic man is just so good. It's just so good. They just work so well together, and they also, uh, had the first interaction with the MCU Tom Holland Spider Man as Peter kind of beat their ass for a little bit. Dude, you have Miller. It's just uh, it's just cool, man. And I love, I love both the actors. I really do. I had to look up what, what Anthony Mackie was just in. It's outside the wire that I just watched. It was actually pretty good. And then Sebastian Stan, who would be the perfect Luke Skywalker because he looks just like young Mark Hamill. I kind of already miss the long Bucky hair, though. I kind of miss it. But them two together, uh, it should be really good, man. It should be really, really good. Obviously, I don't think it's going to be as mind-bending and mind-blowing as the WandaVision's been, but I think it's going to just be a good superhero show and... I'm really looking forward to it. I still don't know what the premise is going to be with Zemo, what he's up to, what he's doing. I don't know who else is going to appear. Uh, I wonder if we'll get any cameos by a particular old man. We'll have, we'll have to wait and see. That's all I got, guys. I'm going to go and wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out for a little bit. Everything down in the description box down below. Playlist up on screen. And as always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.